just about two minutes. So if everyone can find a good seat, find a seat. We will be starting in just about two minutes. Thank you.
have some extra space here in this particular quadrant up toward the front. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hopefully you have found your seat. Thank you for, be oh my goodness, so quiet. Thank you for being here this evening. We are about to embark upon a journey, a special and unique conversation. Before we do, I would like to offer a land acknowledgement. Seattle Public Schools acknowledges that we are on the ancestral lands and the traditional territories of the Puget Sound Coast Salish people. It is also particularly important to acknowledge the souls, the lives of black and brown people who have contributed to the founding, the wealth, and the development of our country. Thank you for joining Seattle Public Schools leadership this evening and our school board of directors for the beginning, as I said, of a wonderful, important conversation. I am your host, Beverly Redmond, Bev for short, if you see me walking around, Bev Redmond, Chief of Staff for Seattle Public Schools. Please note that we are also streaming live on YouTube this session and all of our engagement sessions for well-resourced schools. Our extended audience will be able to see as I'm communicating right now, they're able to see that all portions of the presentation as well as they will be able to see as we're going into our table conversations. They will not get the details of every table conversation, but they will be able to see and capture the spirit of what is happening and the energy at each of the sessions and the tables. We also want to welcome members of the media who may be watching or attending tonight it's very important that they have space to observe what is going on in this particular process. And most of all, we want you, our families, our community, to feel free to participate freely and share openly in your sections. Why are we here? We're here to share ideas on how to reimagine our school system in the face of some budget challenges we believe that we can use this opportunity to get better, to get stronger, to be more equitable, and to make sure that each and every student, teacher, and family have access to what they need to succeed. We must evaluate how to create and pay for a just school system that puts every student on that path to success. We're calling this well-resourced schools. And we want your ideas, your thoughts on how to create them. You'll hear more about this as Dr. Jones and also Dr. Torres will come toward the mic after I continue to speak. Before we continue, if you are a Seattle Public Schools board member, I'm asking you to stand to your feet. Our board, please. I want to give them notice, not just for the applause and the hard work that they do, and they do work hard. I do want to acknowledge that they will be a part of this conversation actively listening. When we go into the facilitated portion of our conversation, you'll see individuals like myself, as well as our board members, walking around, capturing those common themes. They have a work to do as well, and they need that information to understand how to make those decisions. So thank you very much, board, for being here. I also want to give some very good credit to our wonderful SPS staff and volunteers who came and put this together tonight. If you would just do me this and give them a round of applause. <laughs> we 
We thank them for the work that they've already put in and the work that they will continue to do this evening. And thank you, absolutely thank you for being here. There are other things that you could be doing during your summer, but we thank you for stopping by and giving us your important time for this conversation. The goal of the conversation tonight and overall is to gather again your input so that we can make some effective decisions. We have before us a great many things to do this year, including balancing budget. This well-resourced schools conversation will help us a long way with that in achieving it. We've organized five engagement sessions that are in person, and we also have an online session that will be coming up on August 29th. We'll also offer internal conversations, much like you see here, in our individual buildings and at other times for our staff to participate as well as our board to go through a very similar visioning exercise. Before we head over to talk to Dr. Jones or have him talk to us, <laughs> I want to talk about where we are, what you've heard perhaps me say, Dr. Jones say, and our board say. You've heard us say as a grounding principle tonight that there are no school site consolidations or closures planned, I'm going to say the year correctly, 2023-24. So the school year we're about to embark upon, no school site consolidations or closures. What you can also anticipate is that after we finish this particular session, this round of six, including the online, we will release at the start of the school year, let us get into the school year, we will release a district-wide survey to follow this up. So this will not be your only time to give input. After we have gathered that, gleaned the information through these sessions, internal and from our families and community, we will put together that information and deliver it to Dr. Jones, who has an ambitious, ambitious task ahead of him to deliver a plan regarding 24-25 by this November. With that, I want to introduce Dr. Jones, and I could just say welcome to our superintendent and he would be right here. But I do want to give him the credit to say that he is Seattle. He is SPS. He goes day and night thinking about what happens now and next for this school district. It's not just a school district. We're a leader and we want to remain that way. Our kids, our students, our families, our staff, they deserve that. And he carries that mission every day. With that, please allow me to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Brent Jones. Bev is always so smooth. I don't like coming after Bev. She's just poised and uh, the, the picture of grace. And, uh, but here today, thank you all for showing up today. We are here to talk about well-resourced schools. And a lot of you have asked, well, what does well-resourced schools mean? Why are you holding back the definition? Well, you caught me. I am holding back the definition because I don't have one. You all are going to help us to define well-resourced schools. And why we're doing this is we're trying to get, uh, we're trying to curate the knowledge, the wants, wishes, desires of this community for what they want in their schools. And when we start talking about a system of well-resourced schools, we want to glean that from community. And as Bev mentioned, our board members are here, and one of their main jobs is to understand the vision and values of community, and then take the unenviable job to prioritize those and then they give it to me as a superintendent, and they say, go make it happen. And so as we are thinking about our time together today, you are providing the information that's critical for us to define what Seattle well-resourced schools are. And so as many of you know, SPS, like many districts in our state and in our country, we're at a financial crossroads. We must evaluate how to create and pay for a just school system that keeps every student on the path to success. The hard truth is as much as we love every one of our schools, when they're under enrolled, 
they're unable to provide the sufficient level of staff, services, programs, and up-to-date technology. That is our reality. And this lack of enrollment amongst, are amongst the reasons why we have, uh, why we're facing a budget deficit. Last year, our budget deficit was $131 million. This year, we have to deal with another $105 million. And so we are going to do that, but we want to be informed by your priorities. Being honest about our current state allows us to look forward and beyond our current state so that we can understand what we need to do uh, in the near future. This is going to allow us to continue to prioritize creating the safest, welcoming, most welcome neighborhood schools as possible. At Seattle Public Schools, we believe that the way to ensure success for every student is by developing a system of appropriately funded and well-resourced schools. This means using our funding judiciously, being responsible and strategic with the resources that are available to us. This is going to create schools that can continue to thrive. That means we're going to offer a broad spectrum of resources and educational choices in schools where students will have access and the support and the services not only do that they want, but this, that what they need. And so we are thinking about well-resourced schools in every place within the district. And I, I think that's something that we all have in mind. That's what we all want to see at Seattle Public Schools. And let me just remind you, Seattle Public Schools, by all accounts, is a great district. We have great educators. We have great school leaders. We have great administrators. We have board members who care deeply about what's happening. I think you all should just accept the fact that if you compare us across the nation to other school districts, Seattle is a great school district to be in. So I, I think you all, your investments in Seattle Public Schools have been meaningful. The way that you vote for levies has been meaningful. You all believe in public education. We want to be, be able to respond accordingly. So I've heard many of you ask me personally even about school consolidations. Let me let a secret out again. I don't have a plan for school consolidations. I really don't. And so we, as Bev mentioned to you, uh, 23, 24 this school year, no schools are going to be consolidated. And if we were to try to do that without a plan, that would be foolhardy. And so we don't have a plan for school consolidations. Not that that might not be on the board for out years, but right now we don't have a plan for that. And so before I turn over to Dr. Torres, again, I just want to say thank you to all of you who have shown up today. Uh, your information that you are providing to us today is critical for guiding us going forward. We are deferring to your knowledge and wisdom, to your experiences, your expectations, your demands, and we will take those and we will turn those into a system of well-resourced schools. That's my commitment. Uh, our staff knows, knows that, that that's what we're supposed to do, and I'm really happy that we have this opportunity here today. So Dr. Torres is going to take us through the process for how we're going to gather this vital information from you tonight, and we'll, we'll turn that into something really special. We'll turn that into plans. It'll inform our budget. It'll inform our strategic plan, ultimately, and that will, that will propel us into the future. So without further ado, Dr. Rocky Torres. All right, good evening everybody. Thank you for joining us. I have the distinct pleasure this evening of talking us a little bit through run of show and the logistics of how everything's gonna go. So essentially this evening, we're interested in receiving information from you all around three main topics. And those topics are school buildings and learning spaces, support services and resources, and academic and extracurricular programs. So essentially we want as many people to get a chance to speak as possible, so please be mindful of other people when you're at your table in your groups and keep your remarks relevant and also try to keep them brief so we can get as much voice as possible into the space. Um, let's talk about the issues at hand, always remembering to be respectful and avoid specific issues or personal concerns. As you share, keep in mind what kind of ideas will serve every student? This is for the whole city of Seattle. This is for Seattle Public Schools, in addition to your own student. Uh, we do have scribes that are throughout the, uh, the cafeteria, so they are capturing your feedback as you speak, and we're going to have some scribes that are circulating as well to pick up some themes. So here's just a rundown of how this is going to work. So the tables are set around the rooms, and you guys are all in groups. 
So each table has SPS staff members that will serve as facilitators, so they'll be able to move the conversations along as you are talking. I will facilitate the question prompts per topic and be the timekeeper. There are post-it notes, pens, and chart paper available to capture your thoughts and your responses to the questions posed. After you have recorded your answer to the question, we will begin conversations at the table with your groups with the scribes capturing the most relevant details. I will provide time checks for the conversation as we want to be sure to receive responses and engage you all in conversations on each of the three topics, so to be able to give each topic its due time. Um, and then prior to transitioning between questions and topics, we will share back a couple of the themes we heard from the people that are circulating around. Each topic, we're gonna take about 20 minutes, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna intro with a question, and then we're gonna do some think time and write time. So we're just gonna do five minutes of, here's the question, you sit, get out some paper, write your thoughts. Whatever's coming to mind, whether it's a story, whether it's an experience, whatever you're feeling, that's what you're gonna write on your paper. And then we're gonna have the facilitators engage you in conversation. When we're done with that conversation, you're gonna take your post-it notes, whatever notes you have, and there's chart paper around every section of the room, and you're gonna post that under the relevant topic so that we can collect all that information back from you all at the end. So without further ado, facilitators, if you're ready, I'm gonna get us started with our first topic and our time. So the first topic we're going to discuss this evening is the idea of school buildings and learning spaces. So this is talking about the actual physical plant, the buildings where our kids go to school. And I'm gonna give us a timer for five minutes after I finish the question, but your question is, what are your favorite things about your students' school building? So take some think time, some write time, we're gonna do five minutes. What are your favorite things about your child's school building? About three more minutes of think time and write time. As a reminder, the first question is, what are your favorite things about your student's school building? Remember to hold on to your notes for the conversation. We'll have you post them at the end. Just about two more minutes for thinking and writing time before we get into conversation.
about one more minute for think and write time before we begin the conversations and tables. Right, facilitators get ready. We have about 30 seconds before we begin conversation. Facilitators get ready, 30 seconds. Okay, facilitators, if you could, please begin conversations. We're going to do 15 minutes of conversations on this topic. Facilitators, if you could please begin conversations now. We're going to do 15 minutes on this topic. As a reminder, it is school buildings and learning spaces. 15 minutes.
facilitators, we have about 10 more minutes on this topic. 10 more minutes.
Facilitators, four more minutes on this topic. Facilitators, we have four more minutes of conversation on this topic. Facilitators, we have just over a minute on this topic before we transition. Facilitators, just over a minute. Okay, facilitators, if you could put your hand in the air, if you are a facilitator, we're going to pause on this topic at this time. So, Principal Donovan, Dr. Bruder, if we can pause, because we're going to transition to our next topic. Hands up. Thank you, Principal Weiss. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pritchett. Okay. So, I'm going to share out a couple of our themes that we heard from circulating. When we're done with that, in each area of the room, there's a post-it note, and they have the titles on them. So, if you have your post-its, your notes, what you wrote, your thinking, once I'm done with the themes, we'll have you transition over there, post it onto those large post-it notes and anywhere in the room so that we can make sure we capture everybody's feedback. Then we're going to sit down, and we're going to start into topic number two. So some of the th uh, themes that we heard were the idea of large, spacious classrooms, modern facilities, 
new cafeteria, um, and security and more green spaces in the neighborhoods. So if you could, please start the transition, take your post-it notes up to uh, the large post-it and post them and then take a seat and then we'll start with topic number two. Thank you. It'll take one more minute to transition. Forty five more seconds to post your thoughts up on chart paper, please. Thirty more seconds to get your thoughts posted on chart paper before we transition. About ten more seconds before we transition to our next topic. Okay, facilitators, if you could put your hands up. I see Teresa, I see Dr. Pritchett, I see Dr. Williams, Dr. Campbell, thank you. Principal Eric Weiss, thank you so much. Principal Donovan. All right, we're gonna get ready for our next topic. Our next topic. So the next area where we would like to engage you all in some conversations to get some feedback is around support services and resources. Support services and resources. So similar to our last conversation, we're gonna do five minutes of think and write time and then we're gonna start the conversation for 15 minutes. So here is your framing question for this section. How can we make resources and or services at each school stronger? How could we make resources and or services at each school stronger? If you could please take five minutes now for think and write time. Yes. How could we make resources and or services at each school stronger? Five minutes think and write time. About three and a half minutes left for thinking and writing time. As a reminder, the framing question, how could we make resources and or services at each school stronger?
about two more minutes for thinking and writing on this question. about 30 seconds before we transition into conversation on this topic. As a reminder, this is around support services and resources. And the framing question is, how could we make resources and or services at each school stronger? Okay, facilitators, if you can get us started, thank you. We will have 15 minutes of conversation on this topic.
facilitators time check you have just under 10 minutes for this conversation just under 10 minutes Time check for facilitators. We have about five minutes left on this conversation and topic. Five minutes on this conversation and topic.
right, facilitators, time check. Two more minutes on this topic and conversation. Two more minutes on this topic and conversation. All right, we're gonna have about 10 more seconds on this topic before we share themes, about 10 more seconds. Okay, facilitators, if you can get a hand up. Principal Weiss, I see you. Dr. Mia Williams, Dr. Sarah Pritchett. Trina Stoke, I see you, if we can get a hand up from our facilitators so we can get into themes. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Principal Donovan. Thank you, Dr. Bruder. Okay, so some of the themes from the second conversation, as a reminder, the topic was support services and resources. And some of the themes we heard are support and resources for students at both ends of the bell curve, more mental health specialists, um, parent education around mental health and nurses availability, more communication about access to resources for students and for families, and streamlined access to resources and families. And finally, the idea of good food for healthy minds and also how do we deal with food insecurity for some of our students and families who need it? So if you could transition at this time and get your post-its up on the board for supports and services, let's take a minute and get your post-it notes up for support services and resources, and then we'll get into our final conversation of the evening. About 30 more seconds to get your notes up. All right, facilitators, about 10 seconds till we get to our final topic and conversation of the evening.
Okay, facilitators, if I can get a hand up. Dr. Pritchett, thank you so much. I see you. Trina Sturk, thank you. Principal Eric Weiss, thank you so much. Dr. Marnie Campbell, thank you so much. Dr. Mia Williams, thank you. Tyler, thank you so much. Principal Donovan. Josh, thank you. Okay, here we go. Final topic for the evening. Final topic and question for the evening. Thank you, Nichelle, thank you. Our final conversation is going to be around academic and extracurricular programs. So our final topic for the evening is around academic and extracurricular programs. Here is the framing question. Remember, we're going to do five minutes of think and write time. Framing question. What kinds of programs do you and your student value the most and why? Framing question. Topic is academic and extracurricular programs. And the question is, what kind of programs do you and your student value the most and why? Five minutes of thinking and writing time. About two more minutes. Topic is academic and extracurricular programs. Framing question, what kinds of programs do you and your student value the most and why? Just over a minute before we begin conversation. Once again, academic and extracurricular programs, framing question, what kinds of programs do you and your student value the most and why? All right, facilitators, if you can begin our final conversation. Thank you. We will have 15 minutes on this topic.
Time check for facilitators. I have about 10 more minutes on this topic and conversation. 10 more minutes. Time check for facilitators. We have five minutes left on this topic and conversation. Time check facilitators, five minutes on this topic and conversation.
right, two more minutes on this conversation before we share themes. Two more minutes. Okay, facilitators, hands up. Facilitators, hands up. I see you, Dr. Pritchett. Dr. Mia Williams, I see you. Trina Sturk, thank you so much. Thank you. Principal Eric Weiss, thank you. Dr. Maria Bruder, I think I see a hand in the back. Principal Donovan, thank you. Thank you. Tyler Hamilton, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Okay, I'm gonna give us our final themes. Our final themes for the evening. Ooh. Dr. Marnie Campbell, thank you. Our final themes for the evening, and then we are going to turn it over to Chief Redmond, Beverly Redmond, to close us out. So in terms of academic programs, some of the themes. Facilitators, if we can get to our themes. Thank you. Uh, enrichment and extra, extracurricular programs equal in all locations. Social emotional learning. Transportation for after school programs. Mutual aid for families. And options for different learners. Additionally, programs during the school day and not just after school extracurriculars. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for engaging in conversation. I'm going to turn it over to Beverly Redmond to close us out for the evening. I want to say thank you again. If your heart can be full to see over 100 people come out on their summer evening to talk about the future of schools, mine is. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I want to give thanks not only to you as family, as parents, as our staff who've taken their time. I see some of your faces. Also to our board members, again, thank you for being here and showing your care and concern and walking this room. Thank you to Dr. Jones for setting the occasion. Also to Dr. Torres, to so many others, to my own team in public affairs. It would not have flown without you to our teams across our curriculum, across every part of SPS that have given their time, given their time, I cannot say thank you enough. So on behalf of the board, on behalf of Dr. Jones, this is the beginning of engagement. This is it. This is the foundation that we will continue to lay. Looking at our schedule, 
We will certainly be coming to the Southwest region. We have more meetings to do, very similar, completely similar to this. On Thursday, August 10th, 6 p.m., we will be at Madison Middle School. On the 14th, we are coming to the Southeast region at South Shore Pre-K-8. Also, Northeast region, we will be at Nathan Hale, Northwest region we will be coming to Robert Eagle's staff and also online again. And I will say we have quite a number of people interested in online because it is very, very convenient on August 29th. As you're looking at those dates, tell someone else the good news about SPS and about coming to give their thoughts and input. Back to what we know and what you've heard, in terms of the themes that we express tonight, just centering around that we do not and do not plan to close any schools consolidations for 23-24 school year. As promised, we're in the middle or starting this community engagement process. In September, once we get inside of the school year, you'll be looking and seeing from us a survey to gather more input, all of what you see around the room and that survey go to Dr. Jones as he's developing the plan that he is going to give to us in November. Everybody say November. All right. With that, please, as you are leaving this place, be safe, be careful, and keep our students in mind. Thank you for being a part of this community engagement session. Have a great, great evening. Reminder to please post your post-its.